As referenced in the karate book Unante, this kata is from Matsumura Kosaku of Tamari in Okinawa. It was renamed to Matsukaze from the original name Wankan by Mabuni Kenwa, the founder of Shoru. This was done during a time when referencing the Okinawan king was not in fashion, and Wankan translates to king's crown, hence the change to Matsukaze. The region of Tamari was a small fishing village and is located really just a number of miles from the other famous regions where karate arose in Okinawa, that is Shuri and Naha. In fact, in today's measures of distances, these regions are so close together that Tamari is now within the district of Naha. It is relatively highly preserved as a kata across Shitoru sub-styles, and it really is the same kata as the one kan seen in most Shorinru styles, with just minor variations here and there. Note that Shotokan's one kan is a different kata altogether, and it simply shares the same name of the kata that Matsukaze was derived from. The translation for Matsukaze as passed to me from Japanese-based training has always been Wind in the Pines, and you see various versions of this direct translation from the two kanji, Pine and wind. The meaning behind this translation is viewed in a number of ways and sometimes more direct examples include strength but flexibility, clean and brisk as the air through pine trees, or the rapid side-to-side -side punch segments which are a signature of the kata, like the swaying of a deeply rooted tree with a strong base. Beyond these literal kanji interpretations are some postulations that Matsu relates to the throat or more accurately, the carotid sinus. But this is not from my direct instructors. And while many moves within the kata can involve throat strikes, such as shuto uchis, the rapid side-to-side -side punch segments, the potential choke from the X-block, I will leave the details of this translation to others. Because I believe heritage clarification is important when passing on kata, I'll spend a moment to go through our one person of separation from Mabuni Kenwa, the founder of Shoru. All the individuals on the screen have trained and lived in Japan and are responsible for my direct lineage in terms of absorbing this kata. I inherited the kata from Sotokawa while living in Japan and he was the sensei who was exposed to it either directly through Mabuni Kenwa and or Tani Sensei who founded Taniha slash Shukukai. However, I first learned the kata from Greg Story Shihan who has lived most of his life in Japan and received his fifth dan while living in Japan in 1985, a feat which few Westerners had done through Japan-based training in that era, and today he still resides there and continues his karate training. In our lineage is one of the first somewhat advanced kata taught, that is to say a non-touchy kata, or stance focus kata. Our lineage has classically placed it in the recommended group of a few kata as an option for shodan level tests. It was in fact my own shodan choice kata. Again, shodan meaning black belt test. Other Shitaru styles often view this kata as more of a mid-level Q rank kata. The debate all comes down to a given style's approach to sanen no kata, or three years of training per kata. The debate on this concept in modern karate is outlined in the white to black belt journey textbook called the Karate Theory Manual. That book also lists Matsukaze in the text due to its curriculum ties for most pathways to black belt in styles that practice this particular kata. Matsukaze! So the pell grab comes in here. This is you, okay? This is the block here. You want to time that very quickly with the fast strike. One, two, falling with the leg coming through. Throw and fall through ground and ground. All right, so here we have the X block coming down. This is the GC grabs. Lapel. This is the X block motion here over the top and striking it. I need the forearm or tetsui, depending on the distance. So one more time for the blocks. Our style is always
has been taught as a full body block, meaning there's something coming on one side of the body, you don't know where it's coming from, you have to protect it very quickly. So since Jason uh, kicks me with the roundhouse to the body or face, either one, I'm just protecting and covering this whole side of the body. Right, right after that, go into a straight punch, then comes the combination. He punches back, and there's this exchange of punches, block and block, as you're turning the hips. 